folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 29, NASDAQ up 68, SP's up 16 and a half. Gold, gold contract flat, 25.50 an ounce. We have silver up 7 cents, $30, 2 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck 14. Trading out at $72.03 a barrel, notes and bonds. They are on the move. You got the 10 year note, up nine ticks, trading 113.27. The 30 year, that's, uh, sorry, that's up nine ticks at 113.27. The 30 year is up 13 ticks at 125.09 in King Dollar. King Dollar's da trading down 340 ticks at 101. 101. Check it out, man. 101, 101. You get the euro out here at 111. We have the yen trading 144 and the British pound at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the NQs, let's take a look at them. We're going to go to the NQs first because what you have here, you get a high volume low that I expect is going to get tested here. So we take a look at it. What you're going to see... Was high love, volume low is just sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, what we had had earlier, you know, the bottom line is that you had volume all the way up to this uh, 981, but you had that test that came about 40 minutes ago and just couldn't handle it. That was 11,000 contracts versus 20, 32. Now, we had a high volume low that also tested another high volume low. Okay, that being said, we've already broke into that area though. So when you break into that area, higher probability goes that we're going to come down into this 19,771 area inside of the NQs. And the NQs right now are trading at 19,871. We go into the E-minis. We take a look at the E-minis out here. What we have with the E-minis right now, you're at 14. I'm going to put this intraday also. And what, you know, the market was basically up a, a slightly. Then the uh, Fed minutes come out. The market popped a good, uh, you know, good 10 S&P points. Uh, that being said, we take a look at the E-mini, it's the same type of setup, meaning that we get this low that's hanging out here at uh, 5613, 5613. Right now, you're at 5634, and I do expect we're going to see that baby get hit. The last 10-minute buy, you just had some volume on that baby. On the way down, uh, there's 23,000 contracts. The lows that we're talking about there has 20, uh, 31, yeah, 31,000 contracts. We go into the gold. The gold, what gold did out here today, folks, gold rejected lower price. This wants higher price. This wants the 2900 area. Right now, we're 2550. And if we do look at this intraday, you're going to see that it came down to the 2528 area, rejected that. We're at 2550 right now. Now, what's so cool about this is we rejected it, and we only had 139,000 contracts traded. That's what you want to see. When we go higher, you like to see a couple hundred thousand contracts traded. When you go lower and get a rejection, that's what you like to see. Now, on the gold contract, what we have is this. The 2524, okay, was basically the top of the consolidation. So the bottom line is that the gold contract's trying to break away from the top of this consolidation. You know, bottom line, the, the sooner, the quicker that we get away from this, the more probability that it's going to hold this time. Because what happened in the gold contract since last April, four separate times, we have failed at the highs, and bottom line, pulled right back. Notes and bonds, this is heavy, man. Notes and bonds, they want higher price, lower yield, and they're, they're moving, man, and they're moving with conviction. We get the 10-year right now. There she is. We take a look at the 10-year. That's trading 113.27. We have 2.3 million contracts. That's great contract volume. At the spike high that we had a couple weeks ago, that wants to at least get tested. You get a big expansion of volume out here today. The spike high that we're talking about here is the 115.03. Now, if we take this and put this on a generic contract, just to get us a little speculation as what we have going forward, you're going to see, there we go. I'm going to put it on a 20-year monthly so we can see where this next swing point is. And you can see, you know, we're still basically 
really close to bottoms here. That's the real, the, if this thing, the 10 year bottomed out at 108, you know, 105.10, we're at 113. The next swing here, and this is going to be a big one, is at 117. You take 117 out, and you're off to the races, man. The, the last high that was generated in this, and that we're going back to 2020, you no know, doubt, is 140.13. Now, I certainly don't think we're going to 140.13 because I don't see the aspect of the rates going down so dramatically as we did in, you know, 2015 to 2020. Right now, the 10 year is at 3.78. Now, that's, that's not a bad number, man, because the bottom line is that we topped out on the rate at 4.990. So you can see in the last year, let me see if it's six months. Well, it's not bad. In six months, we've gone down 1%, you know? So, so the bottom line is that I suspect when you, when you look at the Fed minutes, the bottom line, I think September is game, no doubt about that, for quarter point. Um, the market... Uh, future market inside of bonds is looking for one full point before December 31st. So we very well could get that. And if we get that, you know, you can see when you look at the 10, the 10 bottom line, because the 10 is trading at 3.7, except that the Fed rate is still 5 to 5.25. So you can see what happens here is that the market is ahead of the Fed. Now, the bottom line is that once they start cutting rates, um, you know, we'll see exactly what the market has to say, meaning are they going to keep pushing forward with higher price, lower rates, or is the Fed going to catch up with the market? That's, that's what we come down to, because you can see when I just brought that back and look for the last six months of the year, the market itself is already doing the Fed's job. That's, that's the reality out here. We take a look at some of the higher volume. Oh, here, no, let's go to the dollar, because the dollar, no doubt, is moving the commodity market, moving gold in a monster way. And you know, the dollar right now is trading at 101. Dollar wants 99, folks. Pretty wild. Stay right there, folks. We got a uh, great guest coming up. We got our man, Mr. Sean Edwards. He's the vice president, institutional ETF strategist coming right up from direction. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.